Hi guys, Chris here from USP Motorsports. Today we're going to be doing an installation on my 2016 Golf R using these DynaBlink under mirror cover lights. These fit all Mark 7 Golf R and GTIs. It is a pretty simple installation. I would say schedule for about 20 minutes each side. Uh, and if you follow some of the tips and tricks, uh, it makes it pretty, pretty easy to do the installation. Um, so you might ask what these do. Well, one cool thing um, is they're black instead of clear. So it kind of looks cool on the car. You can almost see there's no light until you turn your uh, blinker on. Um, they are dynamic, so they will give you a nice dynamic scroll. Uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, movie Knight Rider, if you guys remember that. A shadowy flight into the... Um, so this definitely adds a nice piece of touch to the car. Uh, so let's go ahead over to the car and let's uh, do the installation. All right, so we're doing our install on our DynaBlinks. Just to give you an example of what this uh, part looks like. This is gonna be installing from the front, um, but we have to start with the install uh, from the back. So I'm gonna set this aside. Uh, so what I did first is I put uh, three strips of blue 3M painter's tape on the paint, just because we're gonna pop this mirror out with this pry tool. Once I get it, you're gonna hear it pop. Once I pop it, you can go ahead and take it with your hand, pull it out, just let it rest on the side there, okay? Um, now, there's two, uh, two 10 millimeters in the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and remove, or sorry, not 10 millimeters, uh, T10 Torx on the bottom here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those guys out. This gives you a little more play to get this uh, top mirror cover out. So when doing these Dyna Blinks, um, just in case, uh, you're interested in carbon fiber, we do offer a carbon fiber mirror cover as well uh, that is easy to install at the same time. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and take your uh, plastic uh, work tool pry tool here, and you're gonna go up with these top clips, and you're gonna pop it down at the same time, kind of pulling back a little bit. And there's also another clip on this side. So once you pop this one down, kind of go on the back of it and apply some pressure and pull it down. So just make sure that you pop those clips so you don't break them because if you pop these clips and break them when removing it, you're not gonna be able to install your cover back on. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the factory lights. So if you come over here, all right, so to get this uh, light out, it's, it's also another T10. One here and one in the front. So pretty simple to get these guys out. Set these things off to the side. These are the same size as the ones in the front, so don't worry about getting them uh, getting them mixed up. All right, so once you got that screw out, you're only one harness away. Uh, so you go ahead and just pinch this clip over here and pull that guy out. That's your factory one. Just make sure they are sided. Just match up the Dyna Blink to it. Uh, make sure you do have the right side. And reverse the insulation here plug in and just make sure this little clip here actually is gonna lock into this hole right there and that's how you can actually see your turns when you're driving the car. So I'm just gonna make sure this little lip here goes on the bottom inside this little plastic lip here, just like so. So it looks pretty, uh, Looks pretty clean. And once you got it lined up, you can take your T10s and go ahead and drop them back in there. Fairly simple install, little, there is some fragile pieces, so you definitely want to be careful. Make sure everything lines up correctly. All right, so once you put this back in, now you can go re and reverse your install with your mirror cover. So we'll go ahead and remove the camera back over to the front. All right, so once we get everything lined back up, uh, your indicator to know that you're all popped back in is like I said earlier, this little light will pop through the cover and it'll be flush. That's how you know you're all back in there. Go ahead and take these two T10s Okay, 
you got those back in. Take your cover. Now, this can be a little tricky getting this cover back on so you don't break these clips. So make sure you pay attention here. Um, if you look at your factory mirror cover here, your plastic piece, this lip is gonna be on the outside. Um, the correct way is for it to be just like that on the outside. Now, it seems pretty, uh, pretty easy to make sure it's that, but it's also very easy if you're not paying attention because I have this mirror popped out, as you can see. Um, if you don't have the mirror popped out, it's very easy to get on that side. If you're on that side of it and you attempt to push in, you will break those clips. And like I said earlier in the video, if you break these clips on the mirror, unfortunately the mirror is done. Um, it's not gonna hold in, it's gonna fly on you when you're driving down the road. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the correct channel there. And before I go ahead and try to push this thing in here, I'm also gonna take a screwdriver or sorry, not a screwdriver, a flashlight. And I'm gonna look in to make sure I see the clip pop through there. If I do not see that clip pop through there, I cannot go ahead and, and muscle this thing in. So as you can see, I got the clip just exposed. Now I feel confident enough to go ahead and push in and make sure both, both clips go in. As you can see, the clip popped up in there, popped up in there. After that, we'll go ahead and put this, uh, this mirror back in. So the trick to getting this back in is these little channels here. We're just a line up to here, there's four of them. So this is uh, pretty simple. So as soon as you put it in, a little clip, push in. Of course, once you're driving the car, you'll have to adjust the mirror and that's it. Your Dynabank installation is done. Thanks for watching our video on our Mark 7 Golf R installation of the Dynabank lights. If you have any questions or concern, please leave on the bottom of the YouTube channel. And also please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun educational videos like this.